Hey, it's Jens. A couple of days ago, one of the biggest macro photographers on YouTube uploaded a video why every macro photographer should own a Raynox DCR250. The video itself is pretty good. It covers most of the important topics like the image quality, how it is not affecting the image quality when putting it onto your lens. He shows how it's built, how it's working with distant focal length, but he's not covering the most important part. And that is really why every macro photographer should own a Raynox DCR250. And that's why I had to make this video. Let's say we want to take a macro image beyond one-to-one -one magnification. So we could use an ordinary one-to-one -one lens and add the Raynox or use one of the lower lens which support 2x but we use it at 1x in combination with the Raynox. Then the setup will look like this. When shooting at 2x without the Raynox our lens will look like this. Do you notice something? When using the Raynox, we're able to pull the front element of the lens back and by shortening the distance between the front element and the sensor, we affect the image quality dramatically, especially when shooting beyond one-to-one -one magnification. Let's have a look on the example of Michael Weidel and the example I took of a coin. Michael used an aperture of f8, I used 6.3 and the result is actually quite similar. But when shooting at high magnification, the field of that is extremely small. So it is of great advantage to shoot at closed aperture. And this is really the greatest advantage of the Raynox. When using it, we can pull back the front element of our lens, shorten the distance between front element and sensor, and then we are able to shoot at a high aperture number without any diffraction. I shot this example at 2x magnification at f16, just a little over-exaggerated to show you the result. So at f16, there is no resolution left. Using the Raynox, pull back the lens and the result is actually pretty sharp. So if you already an owner of one of the lower lens which supports 2x, I really recommend to really think about of getting one of those adapters because then you can shoot at a higher aperture without losing any image quality. And the higher the magnification, the more the fraction will appear. And there are just a few solutions. Of course, you could stack your images, shoot at open aperture at high magnification to keep the image quality high, but then the field of that will be extremely small or using a front element like the Raynox. Thanks for watching, have a good day and hopefully see you on the next.